Let's write a C program to determine if the user entered year is a leap year or not using logical operators and and or. First, let's see the conditions to determine if it's a leap year or not. First thing is we check if it's a century year that is the year ending with 00, zero. that can be checked using a year modulo division 100. If it yields to 0 then it's a century year and then it must also be perfectly divisible by 400 in that case it's a leap year okay both these conditions must be true or else it must not be a century year and it must be perfectly divisible by 4 in that condition also it's a leap year so first condition or the second condition must be true so we 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 will be using logical operators and and or to determine if these two conditions are true in that case the year entered by the user is a leap year or else it's not a leap year so let's write the c program i'll take an integer variable year i'll ask the user to input a year and store it inside the address of integer variable year now if this year entered by the user is a century year or not that can be determined by modulo division 100 if it's equal to 0 and then if it's perfectly divisible by 400 if it's a century year and if it's perfectly divisible by 400 then it's a leap year okay or another condition think uh, if it's not a century year that is year which doesn't end with 0, 0. If it's not a century year and if it's perfectly divisible by 4, then it's a leap year. Both these conditions, in either of these condition is true, then it's a leap year. Okay. So percentage D, that is the year entered by the user, is a leap year. Or else, let me copy this. Okay. It's not a leap year let me mention the variable here that is year so simple we have mentioned both these conditions we have used and and or logical operators so i'll input 2020 which is a leap year by the way okay is a leap year let's execute it once again i'll give 2019 which is which is not a leap year and it's working so please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.